Kia ora team. So here we have um, one of our calculations. Um, so we've been given a question that says calculate takeoff velocity of a 1.02 meter vertical jump. So first off we just uh, start by identifying the important information. So we are looking for the takeoff velocity and we have a 1.02 meter vertical jump. Okay, so when we see vertical jump, we can remember that at the top of a vertical jump, our final velocity is always zero. So at the top of a jump, our final velocity is always zero. We also remember when we're in the air, we are being affected by gravity. And so that is going to be our acceleration. And if you remember, gravity um, acting on us as, a, as acceleration is negative 9.81. Okay, then we can see that we also have a displacement, and in this case it is 1.02 meters. And we are looking for our takeoff or initial velocity. All right, so we can then utilize our formula for identifying uniformly accelerated motion. And that formula is V F squared is equal to v i squared plus 2 times acceleration times displacement. So when we see a formula like that, it means 2 times acceleration times displacement. So we can write that out. So v i squared plus 2 times our acceleration, times our displacement. Okay, so we can now fill in from our key into our formula. So Vf is zero. We are trying to identify our initial velocity plus our two times negative 9.81 times our 1.02. All right, so zero squared, zero. Still haven't found our initial velocity. And then we calculate our formula here. And that works out to be negative 20. So negative 20.01. All right, so when we have a negative and a positive, when we times a negative and a positive, we always land up with a negative. So we have negative 20.01. Okay, so we now need to try get our initial velocity on its own and how we can do that is to add 20.01 on this side so we can get rid of that there but whatever we do on this side we have to do on the other side of the equation so we then land up with 0 plus 20.01 okay, because we added 20.01 to this side we have to add 20.01 to that side okay still not finished because on this side here we have our initial velocity squared we just want our initial velocity on its own so to get rid of our squared we can do a square root 
which leaves us with VI. And whatever we do on one side, we have to do on the other. So we have the square root of 20. Okay, so our answer is going to be 4.47 4 meters per second. And our direction is going to be 